This Stephen A. situation has kind of been brewing of late. Um, I saw what you got brewing, right? I saw there's <laughs> an initial situation happen back during the Kaepernick thing, and, right. and you guys got into it, and, and the world saw that. I don't know how it kind of recirculated, but it has. Uh, Stephen A. Smith went on his podcast and kind of said his reasoning and his piece behind it. Um, you're here now, and, yeah. and and we want to give you the floor to uh, say your piece. But before you say your piece, you know we got love for both y'all, and sure, yeah. I want to know: is there any any light at the end of the tunnel? No, I guys? don't. I, I don't think so, because he's used his platform really kind of to really tarnish, and really attack you my are. character. You know what I mean? Okay. Who I am as a person. Okay. You know what I mean? So regardless of however he started his monologue and his thing with his his podcast, trying to build me up to break me down. We all see through that, you know what I mean? And all the people he's talking about that has reached out to them, just not the other from GMs to players and coaches, who gives a who gives a shit, mm -hmm. to be quite honest. Cause I've had this I've had people, you know, that have reached out to me, players as well, you mm -hmm. know, and some of the people that he thinks are cool with him, they're not cool with him. Mm -hmm. So before I go on my diatribe, Stephen A, can't be a soliloquy because I'm here with these guys, mm -hmm. but I will address some of those things. The floor is yours, bro. Talk us. So, 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 so the initial situation to, to, to backtrack, the initial situation was during the Kaepernick situation where he was trying to come back. Uh, there was an incident where you, him and Max were talking right. and you said, Max acts a little blacker than you, whatever. And that kind right. of got the thing and, going. So what happened from, from, from so from there, what happened? Uh, and even on, even at the, the, the clip, like, again, you said it resurfaced. Mm -hmm. It resurfaced, resurfaced because I guess he did an interview with Joe Budden and he explained why he didn't like Max or he didn't like working with Max. Okay. And so, and obviously, Max ended up getting fired, blah, 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 blah. So fans took to that interview and they brought up, okay, well, this is why T.O. said what he oh, said. Okay. okay. So I kept getting tagged on the video. Okay. And in my phone, I'm like, yo, what's going on? So I saw the comments or what have you, and I just, I haven't backed down from anything. I just said facts and just left it at that. He took offense to that. Then he went on his podcast and said that I posted it, which I didn't. And even in my response to that, and I'm like, genius, I, I retweeted it. I didn't actually post it. I didn't mm -hmm. go out of my way to go bring everything up. It was only a response to that interview that he did with, with uh, Joe mm -hmm. Budden about Max that all the fans, you know, brought it up. So he took offense, you know, to that, and so that's where it all all resurfaced. Now he, I, I, I got a chance to see what he said. I went back and watched. And he said something about a lawsuit at ESPN or so. Right. So can you bring right. Some so clarity to that. Right. So the I guess we, there was something going on. I guess we were talking about uh, the Kaepernick situation, and, and somehow there was a, a text exchange between me and him. Between you and Stephen. Me a. and Stephen A. Okay. And he on air. He mentioned something about the text, which I didn't give him consent to do. Mm -hmm. I had you done, but that, uh, hold on. that's that, that's one rule. If somebody texts you or any type of conversation texts you, do not share that on social media or none of that, bro. You just, especially you the person clearance. don't know. Yeah. You have yeah, right, exactly. Right. So I didn't take the onus. I didn't go out of my way to go file a lawsuit. I mm -hmm. had an attorney to reach out to me. Like, yo, that's not right. It's copyright infringement, something along those lines. Gotcha. Oh, so someone just reached out. To, uh, an attorney came and found you about it yep. and said, do you want to pursue yeah, action? Yeah, this is against? what happens. Like, he can't do that. So gotcha. it wasn't really him. It was ES. I, I looked at ESPN. Okay. ESPN has dogged me over the years, mischaracterized me, having people having misunderstandings about who mm -hmm. I am, you know, whether, whether you know, as far as my character is, mm -hmm. is concerned. Everybody's talking about I'm arrogant, mm -hmm. I'm selfish. Of course, I've had disagreements with some players, some coaches, but who hasn't? Mm -hmm. Right. Now, my but question is, but I do not to cut you off. I don't because I don't. I want you to finish. Right. I do remember, he, but he was one of the best. So before all this shit hit, you guys were cool then, because I remember he used to stand up for you a lot. That was the one thing he used to do back in the day before the shit hit the fan. I think everybody realized Stephen A. was cool with a lot of things back in the day. Okay. But as time has surpassed, okay, a lot of people have a different opinion about who Stephen was then and okay. who he is now. I'm one of those people. So regardless of that, me and Stephen A, we ain't buddy buddy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Whether he talks good or bad about me on his show, whether it's objective or subjective, whatever, that's his job. Okay. I don't I didn't know Stephen A prior to me. I guess our initial meeting, I guarantee he knew about me because of my play before I knew about him. So we're not we're not buddy buddy. Okay. At the end of the day. And so again, back to my point. The attorney reached out. He said this is what it, this is what we're going to do. 
he went out to ESP. They, he submitted the, uh, the the file or the claim to uh, ESPN, and that's how how things uh, started. But for me, for him to say and elude or insinuate that it's a money grab or something like that, that's 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 that's, that's not cool. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? To insinuate, oh, I'm broke, this, and that, and the other, because these are these are certain things. Like I said, that I t- it is personal. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's no it's no secret. I had. I was represented by Drew and Jason Rosenhaus. They referred me to uh, Pro Sports Financial, who was managed, uh, who's a financial advisor, and Jeff Rubin. It's public knowledge, bro. I got taken advantage of. They stole a lot of my money. Mm-hmm. Anybody that knows me, I didn't just go blow my money. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So yeah, do I have the means that I had back then? Absolutely not. But for him to go on TV and insinuate certain these things that I did X, Y, Z, and I'm desperate, that's not cool, bro. I ain't gonna, nobody business. I'm anyway. not. I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna let that slide. So at the end of the day, and I told him, I called him. I told him, I said, "Yo, keep that same energy. You're gonna call me a sorry ass and I'm pathetic. Things of that. I'm trifling. When, if I ever come across him, keep that same energy. It's not a threat, but you're not gonna use that platform to downgrade me as a person and what I've accomplished for your benefit because you have a platform to do that. And then talk about and bring up all these." These these top name people mm-hmm. or high qualified, I guess in his his name to demean me. He mentioned the Donovan McNabb, the Brian Dawkins, the Primes. You know what I mean? Uh, Shannon Sharp. You know, talking about GMs and players, talking about don't go after him like that. What have I What have I ever done? Then holding up papers in his podcast like he got something like he got something on me. He's gonna expose me. Expose me for what? I I urge him to. I I give him permission to expose me because I've never done anything. You don't have anything on me. You got the world looking at me crazy like you got something on me. So if you do, please let it be known. Yeah, that, the one thing I will say about athletes is that we don't really have too many skeletons. Like all Bro. our shit is front. All of our shit is front and center. So I, I, I get what you're saying with that. So, I mean, is there anything else you kind of want to, like I said, I want to make sure you get that out or, or, or anything else off your chest when it comes to that? No, I mean, again, I just I appreciate the platform because, like I said, he had the opportunity to sit in front of his in, in front of his audience, his mm-hmm. millions of subscribers. Mm-hmm. You know, like you said, his soliloquy um, to share his thoughts with all the hearers or whatever the case may be. Um, but for me, I wanted to share that with everybody to give them some context as to what he's saying is mm-hmm. not accurate. It's mm-hmm. not totally true uh, for him to try to build me up and then bash me and and and, and you know, attack my character. That's that's not going to fly with me. Um, mm-hmm. I want the same platform, like I said, to sit down and really share my story and let everybody know, like, yo, he's not who we think he is. And Stephen A, he's walking around like just because ESPN has padded his pockets with some millions, he's walking around like he's us, like he's an athlete, like he got that kind of cachet. And then, like I said, mentioning guys that obviously I think highly of, talking about Dion and Shannon and these these guys I come across with, you know, on a regular. You know what I mean? That's not cool to be name dropping. You know what I mean? Because now I'm around these guys and I'm like, okay, well, how do they really feel about me? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? How do they think mm-hmm. about me? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So that's 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 where I am with it. You know what I mean? So as he said in this podcast, we don't ever have to speak again. Okay. Never ever. But make no mistake about it. I don't try to be no badass, no nothing, bro. Anybody know me? I'm easy going. I'm cool. Mm-hmm. I've kept my nose clean because I was raised the right way, bro. Mm-hmm. Right. But you're not finna sit up here and try to bash me or attack my character in front of millions and sit on ESPN with your compadres or what have you and act like you bad and you this and that and the other. That's not gonna fly with me. But like I told him, keep that same energy. And I'm not saying I'm not condoning no violence, but you're not finna disrespect me. You know what I mean? Because when it comes to the player, that ain't got that has nothing to do with that. That has nothing to do with this. You know what I mean? It's me. Mm -hmm. For me, like I said, it's 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 personal. Mm -hmm. So at this point, like I said, at this point in time, that's 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 how I am. That's where I am with it. Any, any, anytime, as a man though, anytime as a man, when you feel disrespected as far as your character or your integrity, you you should feel a certain type of way. I, you know what I'm saying? Any man should, and you <clears> should respond, and, unless you're not a man. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 unless you don't stand on morals or respect. You know what I'm saying? And I'm and for me personally, any anytime something that's talked about in private and is shared public. It's gonna cause a problem, right? Like, like, like Matt said, especially if it's not an understanding before that. You know what I'm saying? So, 
uh, uh, a lot a lot of things that's that from my, from here and the way it happened. I feel like it it could be a conversation between y'all because with the media knowing this and all this stuff being out, it's a lot of stuff that's being said that ain't true too. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it's a lot of stuff that's been insinuated. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody's on the outside looking the in. Reaper so that's why I feel if y'all yeah. sat down, you know what I'm saying? Y'all might have to get in there and box for a minute. So what? Or we could just bring some weed too. You know what I'm saying? Kick back. If y'all got to uh, box for a minute, then talk it out. That's how we used to do it in the hood. We got disagreements. We'll scrap it out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then we go on back to the stove by candy together. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's how, but, that's how we grew up. As men, it's going to be different. Right. I get that. Right. You know what I'm saying? But for me personally, I feel like with all the other shit around and the being out in, in social media, that's making it harder for y'all to get to understand. This right. is my personal But thing. to your point, like I said, to add some clarity to things, like I said, and some things are misleading as if he, and I, and I and I went back and somebody sent me a clip of some of the things that he said. And he's like, oh, he's not a liar. He's not this, he's not that. And again, the thing is the insinuation that, you know, I'm doing stuff for money. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I told you, I don't have the same amount of money because I got taken But that ain't nobody business, T.O. But, but he, that's what I'm saying. He made it everybody mm -hmm. business. Now he got people looking at me sideways. And then even with the lawsuit thing, I showed you guys. Mm -hmm. He admittedly, in the text from my from our text exchange, he's like, "Oh, I'm mistaking your your text for what, a tweet." Yeah, that's what the attorney was referring to. Mm -hmm. He admitted that. Mm -hmm. I showed you guys that. Yep. That's in our text conversation. Yep. I ain't got no reason to lie about nothing, mm -hmm. and I ain't got nothing to hide. So for him to come out initially when he saw the whole facts thing in response to that, and somebody he gonna expose me, expose me for what? Right. I urge you to expose me. Mm -hmm. But at, at this end of the day, like I said, he feels the way he feels. I feel the way I feel. Mm -hmm. Like I told you, we're not buddy, buddy. I don't never have to talk to Stephen again in it in my entire life. Mm -hmm. He can sit on ESPN, do what he use all the big words he wants to to impress everybody. That doesn't impress me. Now, like, like I said, he's used that platform to tear some black athletes down. And even I'm included that. You try to build them up, tear them down with your words, this and that and the other, your monologues. Bro, I don't, I can see past all of that. But you're not finna just do it to me. A lot of guys are not gonna say anything. No, I feel, I feel you. I mean, shit, he still owe me a for the way he talked about me with the brawl <laughs> shit. But so, that's my boy. I ain't never brought it up to him, but he dogged me. But again, I just let it go because I'm, I'm live still, but. But again, <laughs> right. But again, Dog those things, right. But those things, like I said, <laughs> I'm still him. Yeah, right. Him but, with D. Duncan. Right. But like I said, you know, like I said, I can look in this camera just like he looks into the camera right. and talk to America. Right. Mm -hmm. And yeah. when I tell you, when I'm serious about that, keep Stephen A. Keep that same energy, my guy. Keep mm -hmm. that same energy, and I put that on Alazine Black, my dude. Mm -hmm. Keep that same energy that you did with your podcast. Keep the keep it the same. That's all I got to say. I think before we move on, Jack, I want to commend both of us because we both tried to try to try to go the peaceful way right here. And I just can't believe it. And that shit, for us to do it and it didn't work, it's a surprise. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's smoke. <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> hey, I fuck with Steven. It's smoke, baby. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I fuck, yeah, I fuck about you guys. So I gave, my, I gave my disclaimer before this shit started and we both tried you to tell us right. peace. <laughs> we both did. You ain't never seen us come in peace. Like, bro. <laughs> hey, but hey. It's all good. Y'all handle your business, man. I, I, I hope it. Hope it works itself out. Let's yeah, go. man. Just keep what's private, you know. Yeah, man. Hop social media. Let's talk about your upbringing, bro. Because you know, you know, we wanted you. To, we wanted to have you on this show definitely to talk about that. Just because, about you and your greatness. Because yeah. you are a boy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? With something on your mind, this is a platform for people that we rock with, especially to come say what they need to say. So we wanted to get that off first because we yeah. fuck with you like family. No, and that's you know why I wanted to do it with you yeah. guys because I'm not gonna go to another network and have them chop my stuff yeah. up. Mm -hmm and edit it. Yeah, I want them to see me, you know what I mean? Because over the years, like I said, ESPN, they, bro, they, they did me wrong. Mm -hmm. Anything that happened a court, during the course of my career, I did an hour and a half, two hour interviews, but they only showed like maybe five or 10 minutes of the clip. To control the narrative. Right. So that's why everybody thinks that I'm this person. That's why he can go on his podcast and compound some of those things and bring some of those things up as if I'm that person. Mm -hmm. Bro, I know what he's doing. That's not, Bro, that's not cool. But he wonders why, you know, people, why I said what I said. I said it tongue in cheek, but there's always a little truth to it. Mm -hmm. That's why I said that Max seems blacker than him. It ain't, I said what people are thinking. But now, like I said, I never back down from it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm going to be a man of my word and, be a, and, and stand on it, stand on what I say. Right. But 
it is what it is at this point. And then, but obviously you're talking about some of the things that I'm doing now, uh, getting ready to do a documentary. Um, to you know, I'll say we're gonna allude to some of it. We're not gonna reveal everything, but uh, mm -hmm. yeah, some of how I grew up. Some of the things that are going on, even just, you know, some of the things, like I said, me losing millions of dollars, you know, through, uh, you know, through the recommendation of my my agents at the mm -hmm. time, Drew, Drew and Jason Rosenhaus. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, financially, like I said. They was in on it. Yeah. So, again, those are things that people don't know. But, again, for Stephen A to use this platform to insinuate that I'm desperate. And those are the things, those are the, that's the word that he used. And when I asked him about it, he goes, I didn't tell, I didn't say you were desperate. I'm like, yes, you did. It's in your tweet. You said I was desperate. Then he went and back double down on that with his podcast and say that I was doing this stuff for money. Granted, I ain't, it ain't no secret. I don't have as much money as I used to, but I'm alive. I'm blessed. I'm a good, I'm a hall of famer. Mm -hmm. I, I ain't worried about nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm good. I ain't asked him for nothing. So why he worried about what's in my pockets? 